I'm at untrained strength. Duh. Duh, you silly sons of bitches. How much do you think I could bench like this? Hey, comment below how much you think I could bench like this. Because everyone says that. Like sumo grip or sumo stance and wide grip bench cheating. How much do you think you guys could bench like this? We'll challenge all you little pussies out there. <laughs> bench like this. This fucking hurts, dude. There's, I, could, I bet I could barely do 225 like this. There's a lot of people that bench like that. No, that's illegal. This is the widest you can bench. That's the widest yeah. you can bench? Yeah. You, you how have come, to touch the how ring. come I see people like do? Because they have short arms and it looks like that. Oh, really? That's the only reason. But the wider isn't better. It's just like sumo or like squat. Like if, if this was so much easier because of range of motion, everyone would squat this way and everyone would bench that way. It's not. Or everyone would pull sumo, but half the records are conventional. And not even everyone goes the wi uh, widest legal width. But if you go beyond that, I guarantee you guys barely bench 60%. I'm out of breath. Uh, we'll see how 315 feels and then either go for kind of a triple-ish heavy with a bunch of back downs or a heavy single. Cool. Yeah, and then a uh, bunch of back downs like three to five. Going in raw, man. No rap, PR. Got a question before I smash 275. Do you use wipes or toilet paper? I'm a toilet paper guy, mostly out of convenience. I don't want to carry my own wipes. I don't want to keep replenishing wipes and toilet paper. Another common question is uh, wipe standing or sitting. And that's when the quarter squat gang uh, appears. You got stumpy bench press arms. Can't quite do it seated. And then your hand's gonna, yeah. Quarter squat. That's the only time I approve of the quarter squat. When you're wiping your ass. Power lift of knowledge. I can hold it forever too. It's right here, dude. It's not bad, huh? Mm. This is a good question. How do you hit on a girl at the gym without making it seem like you're a creep or being awkward? I don't know. Um, I think it just depends on the type of gym you're at. If you're at a gym like this. You just start to like, just chat and be fucking normal human being. And then you'll understand if she is interested and wants to be a normal human being back. And then you can maybe move into friendship or a group, hang out and then a date. If you're in a normal gym, I think it's really difficult to not be a creep. Uh, maybe just pray for some eye contact. But what the fuck do I know? That's all I got. Go to Tinder, you fucking bum. Any of these match? Well, this feels light. I like it. I'm using this one. Nah, no, these are yours, man. All right. This guy said, what's a simple and effective way of getting in meals if you work long hours? A simple, effective way to get in meals if you work long hours? Talk to this guy. This guy's in his gym grinding his face off every day. How do you uh, get your meals in while you're working all day? I don't know. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, meal prep. Meal prep, or that's when I think bars and shakes uh, play a role. I'm lucky enough that I set my own schedule, so I kind of get to eat, but a lot of people like this who are grinding all day, I, I see him food prepping. He's got his little Tupperware and a microwave here. Just make a bunch of rice, a bunch of potatoes. Stop being a fucking bum. I don't know, that might help. Someone asked how often should you max out? So maxing out. Maxing out. Or testing. Now, hopefully you're in the gym to build your strength. How often you'll physiologically be able to adapt to hit a new PR is kind of dependent on how um, advanced the lifter you are. So, you just start lifting, you never lifted weights in your life, you're gonna PR or max out every single week, and then eventually every other week, and then eventually every, every month, and then eventually every six months, and then eventually you're hopefully gonna just squeak in five pound PRs every eight months. What you got? Um, so it kind of depends on where you are in your training, how long you've been lifting, how old you may be, how genetically gifted you are. 
Uh, Cause there's guys that are probably pull 700 pounds with one year of training, just gen genetically gifted enough that they might still be able to add five or 10 pounds every month. Um, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Come on, I'll be back hard. Easy. Good. Nice. Three eighty five slingshot, four oh five slingshot. How's that sound? Can you put a slingshot on? Yeah. Is that what you said? Yeah. And then I'll do whatever. Three fifteen, three sets of five back down. Four oh five. We meet again. Let's suppose that you're ready for commercial. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. One, two, three. Nice, dude. I almost died! <laughs> Good spot. I, yeah. I almost died and he saved me. He saved me mentally to let me save myself. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. There you go. No slingshot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it many times. Talking way too much. <laughs> he almost died. I saved his life. Try to pause it for all those internet haters. So today, I would say you did 370 times one at nine, uh, 405 times one at 10, yeah. and uh, 315 times five. Eight and a half at nine. Yeah. I was gonna say eight. Yeah. yeah. I'd agree. I would agree. Is periodization a what? Necessary for beginners. Um, I wouldn't say anything's necessary, and I know there's some like new research and surveys coming out of it uh, 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 versus or against the efficacy, <laughs> big word, fuck you, I dropped out of college, uh, about periodization. And actually, uh, taking someone's squat, I just saw a chart, so don't quote me here, but uh, something where the gains were not minimal, but less than people would expect it for someone who periodized blocked their stuff out compared to just someone just kind of went by feel, um, which I've said for years. You can go back to probably power cast number 20 where I said lift if you want to get better at the squat squat once or twice a week moderate weights for the next five to ten years and you will get stronger so um, beginners intermediates advanced I don't want to use the term you need to use periodization but you need to have a plan uh, if you have some kind of plan involved uh, is what's gonna get you to where you're gonna go just randomly going in and doing random things will get you random results so some kind of plan does it have to be periodized necessarily no but have an a plan so that's probably a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm off to New York City to record Moore's Mama's Voice podcast. Me and Omar Esau's podcast. Check it out on iTunes. Stitcher, SoundCloud, mamasboyspodcast.com. I'm going to do some vlogging. We'll be in New York City. We'll see what type of shenanigans we get into. Be sure to turn on notifications, subscribe, like that video. Appreciate you guys. 405 back in my hands with a slanger. Soon to be 405. Rawr.